Today is April 20th, 2016, and welcome to another episode of Redacted. Blaze I'm, it. I'm Blaze joined it, by Berg17 and Board Gamer. Hey. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, how's, how's it going? How's it going? What's up? Word. Um, oh, my, my, head, my head is very big today. Ooh. Your head is always very big. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's... <laughs> We have to sort of lean in, Twerk, if you just lean your face in towards the camera. Yeah, let's get you a bit bigger, me a bit smaller. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Oh, um, hi. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, so, hi. something along those lines. Through the magic of the, the internet, we see your faces. Anyways, uh, it's good to have you back, Sir Board of Gaming. Yeah, welcome back. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, sorry about last week. I uh, that's all good. I mean, I'm suffering. I'm suffering erratically at the moment. So thanks for covering for me. Appreciate it. No worries. I was I was ready to do it solo. I had everything yeah, ready I to go. Make it. <laughs> yeah. No, I made a new overlay and everything just in case. So um, yeah, I guess we'll start on what we've been up to this past week. Twerk seventeen. Tell me, what have you been up to? I've been up to a lot, but not a lot necessarily Star Citizen related. Wait, wait, wait. I've been up to a lot, but not necessarily a lot. Yeah, yeah. No, not necessarily. Know, not Star, Star Citizen. Citizen. Right, right. A lot. But, like, uh, played Elite Dangerous and actually, like, earned some, well, died before I can earn money a few times, but we, like, did some stuff, earned some money, uh, are going to kit out a new ship, I believe, a little bit next week, so... I don't know. I'm just kind of seeing how that game works and 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 enjoying that a little bit. It's actually quite fun uh, for the time being. I think it's a decent uh, thing to kind of pass the time right now. But yeah. um, it's a change. I also, it's a change. yeah, it's a decent change. I don't I don't mind it. Um, this morning, I, I okay. So last night I worked from six p.m. to four a.m. Got home at five. Got this. Some like double shot thing. I don't know. Yep. Some and Starbucks. um, yeah, that yeah. was the only thing that was at the gas Sponsors station. Sponsors have redacted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're all now basic white bitches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, I was like ready to go, and my internet wasn't working, so I called Comcast right away because I had about forty-five minutes, and I was mm -hmm. like, okay, let's see if we can get this figured out. And they were like, there's an outage in your area. It will be out till eleven a.m. And I was like, fucking kidding me. So. I'm not getting my current bandwidth, like, not even close. I'm getting about a third of my bandwidth now. So expect for me to sound like a robot at some point and all that that stuff. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. I so am Flex 17. Beep, boop, beep. Beep, boop. Beep. Yeah, so I was actually looking forward to playing a little Star Citizen today. And, and uh, one of the things that I did do was on one of my weekend streams, I forgot if it was Friday or Saturday, but I uh, I spent the entire time not playing the game and just watching old videos because there was like five or six or seven, like there was a bunch of new people that have never heard of Star Citizen before. They had no mm. idea what it was. So we kind of just hung out and did like the what you did on stream two years ago, Star Citizen, right? And it was so fun. It was super fun. We were just mm -hmm. hanging out, like speculating, talking about Star Citizen, just you know, like, this is what you'll be able to do, and we watched videos, and everyone was so hyped, and it was, mm. like, the old days. It was it was a really, really, really good time. Um, so, I mean, that was a good stream, but it's, it's not a like change, you can do right? that stream. It's yeah, a change, it was, so like, a, it was a welcome change. And, yeah, um, other than that, I, st I still have the um, gray Ed shirts left. They have one day. Uh, I need... Yeah. Two me, sold in America and one sold in Europe right now. That's that's where the goal is at. I'm at eight in, in the US and nine in Europe. So uh, I don't know what's going on because there's like some serious Twitch issues. So basically I need three shirts sold uh, today. Or All I of don't the shirts. The goals. Yeah, and I don't know what that means. I might not be able... Uh, it might mean that it's not a su successful campaign and then... That's Get no the gray good. one. Because it's yeah. gray at Kappa. <laughs> I got the gray and... The blue shirt, the gray one, T-shirt, and then the black hoodie for myself. Yeah, I got just to have one. something different because I don't have any blue T-shirts. So I was like, I'll just get it. I don't. I don't get think a that's color. The best. Uh, colors are good. 
Yeah, I don't think it's the best looking one. I like the gray one the most because gray Ed. You kind of have to get the gray one. You hear that? You have to. Must. Yeah, have everybody to get the gray has one. to get the gray one. You must have the gray well, I, one. I know I'm convinced. <laughs> <laughs> we know you're not buying it. Yeah. Cheap what? bastard. <laughs> oh, let's put Look, him on the spot. I, I buy things that I need, okay? That's it. Yeah. That's what people should do. Thrift. Yeah. He's thrift. Yeah. thrift. Thrifty. Yeah. yeah. Thrifty is good. I'm thrifty in like all aspects of my life except for this stuff. <laughs> yeah. But so... I also have have some beer, so I can't 420 blaze it with you guys. But I can drink a green colored beer, so I'll do that with you guys. Good job today. You good missed St. Patrick's Day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But fair enough. But yeah. So what's up with you, board? Um, oh yes, so uh, I'll apologise for, for last week. Yeah, sorry about last week. Uh, if anyone that wanted to see me, because I'm super cool, uh, but I've got uh, I haven't been sleeping basically because I've been a bit up and down, and uh, the, the doctor gave me some new sleeping tablets to try, and uh, they just annihilated me. I had one of them. I had migraines. Uh, I couldn't sleep Damn. properly. I was just drowsy for three days. It's they annihilated me. And he went, oh yeah, ten percent of the time that can happen. Mm. <laughs> well, well, dude, that's. That. That's like me. I, I was just sick lucky. and I took, and I took antibiotics. And the doctor said it was like super rare that I got extremely sensitive to sunlight and got super sunburn. And that's exactly yeah. what happened. It's like that very, happens. very rare. Um, yeah, well, it wasn't the end of the world. But thanks for for covering for me. That was appreciated because it was like an hour before we started. Um, but uh, yeah, so I have a Vive. Yeah, I got the HTC Vive. I got it. Is it, is it is there? Put it mounted up on my walls. How are you enjoying it? Actually do. Um, so there's not that much for it at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, there are more release titles and more stuff available for the Oculus, uh, but there's less Oculuses around. <laughs> yeah, but can't yeah. you, they, can't they you get into the Oculus store and play things like Lucky's Tale and all of that stuff anyways? So I'm not sure if I'm legally allowed to broadcast um, stuff that I've hacked to work from the Oculus yet. Yeah, you uh, can because be a, the, the thing is you still have to buy it. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so I might start showing some videos of uh, the other stuff that I've played that is from the Oculus Store because mm -hmm. um, there was a Reddit post basically about how to hack Oculus yeah. stuff to work. No, no. Um, Lucky's Tale was free. Five. It was a free sort of yeah. game, but, um, but all the other. There are some really cool experiences for the Vive, um, and at the moment everything's kind of a tech demo there aren't any really yeah. fully fleshed out games yet mm -hmm. uh there's a couple that i've played like um uh, call of starseed or um the gallery the gallery yeah, that's something. made by a dude here in vancouver ah that's i was i was mm -hmm. chatting to him on twitter uh that's actually quite good mm -hmm. so far I've, I've quite enjoyed that there's there's a few others uh, the ones you get bundled like job simulator um that's amazing mm -hmm. but it's very short um, the lab that you can get for free mm -hmm. is absolutely fantastic, but obviously that's more of a source two almost demo um, for some of the stuff and just like showcases loads of the different things that the, the Vive can do. Um, the cubicle, which I called the crucible in a video because I can't words. Because um, mm -hmm. you're a star citizen on the mind. <laughs> is probably the best experience I've had. It's a, it's a five minute demo thing with you're in a cubicle at work and you've got a file red files into the red cabinet and black files into the black cabinet and everything goes a bit weird and it's about what the vibe and gaming can do when you're in virtual reality like when you look around and turn around and um uh with weird stuff changing and like mm -hmm. warping your perspective and then making you feel claustrophobic and then pulling you out of your safe space um it's not jump scary but it's really great so anyone that's got a vibe check out the the, the cubicle um but yeah it, it's not worth 700 quid or a thousand eight hundred dollars whatever the, the yeah. headsets just aren't yet they're just not they're not because there's mm -hmm. not enough for them yet um and the games that you have to buy for them there are there are games that are gonna even if you quite like them they haven't got that much gameplay you're not gonna be yeah. playing them for 400 hours 300 hours and you can have there's to be no spending, big like, mmos right or anything like that that is yeah can can there even be like because I, I know board was saying that it's exhaust it gets exhausting at a point right oh, i think you get you used have to, to it to take i think you get used to it after a while from what i've heard it takes a little yeah, while so but from what i've had so far i mean obviously at the moment i'm a bit more um uh tired Sensitive, than i normally am yeah yeah, yeah. uh but so the Vive, it tires out my eyes 
a couple of hours I, that is pretty much all i can handle then it feels like my eyes are dehydrated and i just need to i just i just don't want to rub moisturizer into them i just feel <laughs> exhausted mm -hmm. but, but it's also physically exhausting so i mean you're up on your feet so it's much more tiring than normally gaming would be and you're you're mentally tired as well because you're not you're a bit more excited because it's something a bit different from normal games mm. and it, it's just all all of it together is a really tiring experience all added together um and uh, it's fun it's great but there's just not enough for it to justify that cost yet that yeah. in a few months it will it's be still early early months. days on it, it's right? like when consoles yeah. come out right there's like a few release titles but there's not enough there's for it I felt that there needs to be more for the Vive. For the Oculus, I feel that there is some release titles. You've got Valkyrie and stuff as well. And yeah. there's lots more just things available. Even on the Steam store, there's lots of Oculus-based stuff. And a lot of the Vive stuff is o Oculus as well. Uh, whereas there's, there's lots of Oculus exclusives. Now, obviously, as we said earlier, there's lots of stuff that you can bodge to work on the Vive. And it works mm -hmm. perfectly fine. Yeah. So Oculus need to, to kind of go, let's stop being dicks. Yeah, and let's stop making it stuff that trying to make stuff exclusive because that sort of thinking is great for short term profit, but you need a company to compete with. AMD, Intel, great innovations, great c competitive nature. They they can license stuff off each other. It, you don't. It just it really annoys me that they're yeah. they're going that route. They're trying to make stuff exclusive. Op open source VR is going to be great um, and stuff like that, but. Just trying to make stuff exclusive, Oculus only. That annoys me. I mean, there's it's, there's um, a lot of things. Like I've been doing a lot of research, right, because of uh, what I've been up to this week. But, <clears throat> um, you know, you there's Minecraft that's available for VR, for Vive now, right? There's um, yeah, there's Project <laughs> Cars. There's uh, I don't know if Vorpex is working for Vive yet. Vorpix isn't working for Vive yet. Um, it isn't, so but it is. they are actively working on that right now as we speak. I know I've um, messaged back and forth to them briefly. Um, and and there are some other things that are sort of out there that are sort of workarounds or whatever, like I said, for the Oculus Store. or for um, There's 155 Vive titles on Steam right now. Um, if you yeah, filter, some of them are software though, and some of them are some, software videos and experiences, not games. Right, so. right. Some of them are are uh, software. Some of them are 360 video things, uh, but the majority of them are games. Um, but yeah, no, that's that's cool. I'm glad you're you are enjoying it so far. Um, yeah, it just it, as it gets more, I'll enjoy it more. But mm. yeah, does anyone that's thinking of buying one wait a while? Wait a while. No. Um, that's that's my plan. I want to see where it goes before I even get get into it uh, at all. It just really I, I don't know. Feels like consolely. It is. It is. It's, it's basically a console. And that's it, yeah. it should be priced as a console, not twice the price of a console. Um, but that's just that's just my salt there. <laughs> just yeah. my salty because it's so expensive and there's not enough for it yet. But um, I've been yeah. playing a little bit of Star Citizen as well. Uh, not much recently. I've been just tired. And let's face it. I mean, we love Star Citizen, but we've done everything in it twice, mm -hmm. three times, five times. Um, More than that. <laughs> yeah, so yep. I've got all the stock footage I need to be able to do most of the videos I need. And it's very rare that I need to actually play Star Citizen now. I mean, I'm a relatively good pilot. Occasionally I'll jump on to Vandal Swarm and PvP for a couple of hours. Um, uh, but much rare, much less often now. Um, just because... I, I don't feel the there's not nothing new to draw me back into it other than just to research stats. I mean, I love stats. I love looking at XML files, and I'd probably rather do that a lot of the time than play games because mm -hmm. um, I'm mad. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, I, I actually like doing that too. So yeah, yeah. At the moment, I want to for when the game's more balanced and comes out, I want to have all the stats in my head so I know mm -hmm. how they've evolved and how they work <laughs> and how they're supposed to work with each other. Um, I mean, two point four is going to be really exciting. But other yeah, than that, it's gonna bring a lot. yeah, yeah. Like um, I, I think a lot of our friends have been doing some some really cool things. I, I just I don't find myself. I, I'm I feel like I'm not created creative enough. Like I see guys like Richard doing some pretty cool stuff with what we have now, and and mm -hmm. I saw Gamble put a bunch of constellations in at Port Alisar, and and you know, uh, people can do some interesting things, but uh, the extent of it is just. 
it's tough. It's tough. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm not creative enough and to come up with interesting things to do well, with the world that we have right now. And that's well, what I've so been struggling with lately. I, I'm going to have to start doing some gameplay videos and doing some RP stuff and stuff like that. Yeah. Obviously, with, with you guys as well. I mean, I'll be, I'll be trying to grab people when they're available to do some gameplay stuff because there, there, there is... I want to do all the ship buyers guides again. I want to do um, yeah. uh, stuff about meta stats and stuff like that. But there's only a certain amount more I can do that wouldn't be irrelevant at the moment, if you see what yeah. I mean. So yeah. doing hard hard stat stuff at the moment, when it changes all the time, is kind of pointless. Because um, they just get every couple of weeks, it would be totally, totally changed. Yeah. Um, but doing some good gameplay stuff, doing some stuff exploring roles, um, I think I think will be fun, and uh, we probably should start doing. We should evolve our channels and evolve our content. Yeah, I'm just uh, like I've been spending. I've actually been spending like a lot of mental energy on what can I do to enjoy what we have now because I should be able to. It's just I'm trying to think of things to do. Like last week we did a three versus three, uh, where three guys um, went level one pirate, killed themselves, had different mm -hmm. armor. Then we went to Korea and searched each other out, but like everything happened so quickly. Like people die quickly at Korea, and then there was crashes. It was, it's just it, the setups are, are difficult. At, I think at the moment, I think one of the things is is that we're spoiled for knowing what's happening in the in the open development. So we're all waiting almost for two point four. Yeah. So we kind of almost like go, well, there's no point in playing until two point four. Yeah. <laughs> in our heads, but there's obviously loads of stuff to do, and um, yeah, yeah, it's just a matter of doing it. Yeah. So what have you been up to, Soros? Uh, not not a whole lot. Last week I had a uh, fake uniform over for a couple days. Uh, hung out, mm -hmm. got a bunch of us, went to the aquarium. Streamed up until the aquarium and that was fine. Uh, got in the aquarium and it didn't really work out so well. Um, but, and that's because my phone was overheating. My CPU just couldn't handle it. So um, it's just because my phone's old. So did that. Uh, been hating myself and playing Star Citizen. It's not even a creative issue with me, it's getting people to play or do anything and nobody seems to want to do anything. My channel's still having a lot of issues and showing up, people can't connect, videos not showing up, chat, people can't connect to chat. So I just said, fuck it, I'm taking a break till Monday. So that's what I'm doing. This is the only time I'm coming on streaming. It's because I enjoy doing this. Um, yeah. I do not enjoy streaming at the moment, so I'm not streaming. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for me. There, I mean, there, I don't. I didn't want to be near my computer. I don't want to be near my computer for the most part. Um, tomorrow, I'm going down to uh, the office of the devs of Fantastic Contraption, which is a VR game that's bundled with a Vive. Uh, and we're gonna. I'm gonna hang out there all day. I'm gonna help them with their stuff. Um, I built my new VR channel um, because I am gonna do that separately. So then that will POA people. There's no issue to complain, oh, where's Star Citizen, or oh, where's VR stuff, or whatever. I can keep them separate. If it fails and it crashes and burns, then it can crash and burn on its own and doesn't affect my Star Citizen channel. Um, so, yeah, I've been working on a lot on that. If you want to check that out, it's twitch.tv slash virtual research and VR Twitch on Twitter. Um, cool. I will, uh, I'll certainly try and help you as much as I can with that source. I want to get involved in some VR multiplayer stuff. Yeah, so it's still um, going to be a while. I still, I'm only about halfway mm -hmm. raised to the goal of that. Um, and I don't think they're shipping out now until like June or July. So depending on how soon I get that finished, it still is going to be a couple months out before anything happens on there. But if you are interested in VR stuff, definitely go check that stuff out. So when it does go live, it, you know, everything's going to be ready to go. Um... But yeah, so tomorrow I'm doing that. Uh, you know, I'm just sort of looking forward to VR stuff right now because uh, the Star Citizen stuff is boring the shit out of me. Nobody wants to play it. And I'm finding it uh, more and more of a job uh, to try and jump on and do things. And I fucking hate that. So um, yeah, I just said, you know what? I'm going to take a break. So that's what I'm doing. Guys, source away. hates jobs confirmed. Hates <laughs> jobs. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't get no, paid enough for me to consider this being a. We, we all need to take breaks occasionally about whatever we do. It can be a dream job. It can be playing computer games every day, which some people would see as a dream job. You still need to yeah. take a break from it to keep your brain not to go on mm -hmm. totally mental. Um, so yeah, no, I, I think it's I think it's good that you're taking a break, and um, I hope that you 
get your creative juices flying again. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever you need. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean I'll everybody still be needs creative a break. That's really what it comes stuff. down to. I'll still be working on stuff off of the stream. I'm just not going to be on the stream. I'm, I just feel like there's nothing to do in the game right now. And, um, it, you know, we get those weak spikes. There's stuff to do, but we've done it. We, uh, yeah, so that's, a, that's what I'm saying. Is I've done it so many <laughs> so times, many it's boring. Times. <laughs> and I don't want to wait and sit around in Korea for 20 minutes. I don't want to do the missions over and over and over again. Um, we will and, want to do uh, The them thing is, is I wouldn't mind doing it if we were getting new viewers. But we have, it's the same people. There's no new people that are getting interested in Star Citizen. The people that are interested are pretty much here. Like, with the exception of one or two people a day, it's, it, 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 it just doesn't, so, it doesn't make sense. For, for, from a content creator point of view, um, obviously, when they have big announcements and big mm -hmm. events, uh, uh, we see a massive influx of people. Huge. When there's a... Yes, and it's and it's huge. In fact, it's sort of like you can get almost like two months worth of activity in a couple of days, almost. Yeah. So like it, it it's absolutely massive. Um, it went from so, fifty viewers to six hundred when two point oh. Yeah, it went to sixteen. Like up in a thousand. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I, I think that's one of the things is that we, it's a really juxtaposed thing where we we'll see a patch like um, two point two and two point three. Um, it kind of quite quiet. which are mostly back end stuff, mm -hmm. which needed well, to get yeah, done. Yeah, I mean, obviously we've got we've got some some pretty impressive stuff for us, like Starfarer and stuff that we've gone. Oh, isn't that pretty? Um, but it's not. It's nothing to bring a load of people in. It's not like when two point dropped. It's not like when they showed off some of the Squadron Forty Two and Admiral Bishop speech tech stuff yeah. like that, CitizenCon things like that. It's so two point four. Hopefully, with persistence, with something to. Um, work towards and constantly be there so that we've got progression almost hopefully mm -hmm. um, that will I think make might not necessarily bring a load of people in but will make the people that we've got more interested and continue to play yeah like play, 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 you're, play. you're actually gonna probably like maybe not in 2.4 but as the game progresses where there's things to earn like 2.4 is gonna be uh, like we'll talk about it later I'm, I'm sure but it's gonna be the initial implementation of you know, some persistent stuff, maybe some financial things and things like that. So we're going to want to do those missions. We're going to want to grind a little bit to be able to earn things because, number one, we all know that, you know, streaming and especially just the Internet in general is a giant, you know, Internet dick measuring contest. So everyone's going to go, how much alpha UEC do you have? And mm -hmm. I'll be like, well, five UEC. And you'll be like, well, I have five million UEC. Get wrecked, work. I'm cooler than you. So you're going to want to, like, do that grind and and you know come up with the fastest way to do things like just think about that now just those that little implementation takes what what is in the game now and could make it interesting because then you find mm. out which ways to do things the quickest i mean you could say and the same thing about wreck game. right now though right yeah but wreck doesn't have the purpose that alpha uec does because it's only in arena commander it's only renting ships for right. seven days but like, this stuff stays you, but once you have stuff, there won't be a purpose to earn any more currency. And rec was just given to us. I know rec was. I have over so. whatever, I have like one point four million or something. Well, but so, it most but it's like was given to you. But you my, know? my 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 and argument against that it. is okay. You earn, especially when you have quote unquote power players like us. You're gonna earn everything in the first week, and then you're not gonna give a shit about it. I won't. Why am I gonna give a shit about it? UEC that I can't do anything with? Well, because you, you will be able to do stuff with it. You're going to be able to buy customizations to your characters, ships. Yeah, but once you yeah. bought it, then, then once it's paid for, I mean, I guess ah, you have yeah, to yeah. refuel and, and refill and repair. But but, but the, for, for you especially, Source, there's an impetus for you to go out and wreck other people's days. Because damaging their ships damages their Alpha UEC. So you can go, hang on, I'm, I, I want to create as much. And now you know um, exactly what people are doing. Yeah. They're yeah. going to be GTA trying to earn stuff. Yeah. It, yeah, It's going to be much more like GTA from, from our it point just... of view streamers and, and YouTube right. content creators because we can go, well, I can wreck your day. <laughs> but that little no thing changes everything. Yeah, I mean, obviously for people that want to go and wreck each other's day in the business and universe, but that's kind of what we need the balance there for and to see what people do. I mean, everyone might be super care bear, everyone might be super aggressive, GTA style madness, uh, or there might be like a nice middle ground. Um, so, I mean, I'm really interested. It's like a big social experiment. What do you think? What do you think will happen? Do you think people will be super aggressive? Or do you think they're going to be middle of the ground? I honestly, I think everybody's just going to be super aggressive. 
I think people would be super aggressive because just look at how things are now. Yeah. People just blow up ships at Korea all the time. Most people are at least taking some. Like if you go to Kovalex and things like that, people take like an aggressive stance towards you, even if you don't shoot. They're expecting you to shoot. So like you notice that, like when you you fly into Kovalex or you fly into anywhere, their ship is always pointed at you. And mm-hmm. I'm like, who's gonna shoot first? Who's gonna shoot first? Right. So I, I feel like it's gonna be a lot of that. You know. I don't know. I, I, I'm a bit more of a dreamer and an idealist. I don't think everyone's a dick, and I don't think everyone's super aggressive. I, I think a lot of the time... Um, the gameplay's pointed people... us in that direction to this point. Yeah, a lot of people panic fire. They think that you're going to shoot on them, so they yeah. well, I have to attack them first, otherwise I'm dead. But a lot of the time, if you don't shoot and you just hover around, and you, people can see that you're a relatively good pilot, they'll, they'll either go, well, they haven't attacked me, I'm okay, or they'll go, nah, I'll leave it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I mean I don't know I'd like to see people working together more often and I'd like to see it be like an unspoken word that, that everyone's sort of friendly like because yeah. it should be it should be in I, UBE space there shouldn't be like outlaws just mo- just riding well, around not in UBE space well exactly, yeah. But, yeah, exactly that's a good point that's a good point we're not we're, we're, we're not in the private UBE. sector effectively yeah. um, okay which, which I'm assuming is why they chose these areas first. Yeah. But yeah. the the uh, the thing for me is I think once they, I mean I'm sure it's quite a bit away, but uh, voice comms in game or, or some form of comms that's a little easier than what we have now um, will make that a little bit different. Because how do you know? Like you can type friendly, friendly, friendly. Like it. Like think of games like H1Z1 or or games like <laughs> that where, a, you, where you I run by someone and say friendly. Where someone says friendly, 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 you have to then shoot them in the face. Yeah, because they're um, probably gonna. I've noticed every time someone said friendly, and I'm like, "Yo, what's up, dude?" I get hit with shot with a shotgun like two seconds later. <laughs> so, yeah, like, like friendly, like friendly in Korea. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I think once that comes in, like um, an easier to use com feature, even if it's just like a a keybind to say say something, um, like "Hey, what's up?" or "Friendly" or some or something like that. Um, because you can do an emote, right? At the same time, like you walk by somebody, you can do an emote. If they made it a little easier with, like, you know, the F one, F two, like those, and you buttons, can bind emotes to a key. Yeah, it would it would create a, a, a an ability to communicate without I, needing voice because it does create I like would, sound. I would like a little chat wheel, like you have in lots of games with with the, the basic chat wheel commands, just like hello, friendly, whatever. Um, that's based on the your computer. It's based on your. So it has, says the other computer in the, in, the, in the computer voice. Oh, like, I mean. like the... Engage on my target or whatever. Y- yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh your ship's computer. Your ship's computer. So ah, okay, in, okay. The, in the Drake um, voice or whatever, it will say, um, engage on my target or friendly or um, help me out here or something like that, just on a chat wheel. Just because, I don't know, I think that would be nice while we haven't, while we haven't got voice over IP. And there might be reasons you want to broadcast on that that kind of signal, um, just like as more of a wingman thing, but just in a local area. I don't know something, just something nice like that. I think they want to stay away from that kind of implementation of things, though. Yeah. They want to keep it more realistic and and whatever. Yeah. And you wouldn't have. I think that's, re- I think that's would, realistic, isn't it? No, not really. You wouldn't have a wheel no. showing up in the middle of your screen for things that you want yeah. your ship to say. I mean, we're just at the point where but, the game's in development when when they put comms and they'll put comms in. I don't yeah. think they're going to put spend the time on... No, I don't think they're going to add a new feature for, for no reason. Yeah, to eventually replace just, it later, mm-hmm. right? I just <coughs> see oh, pe- it'd be uh, nice. I just want to see people working together for a common goal and, and for there to be some reason for them to do that. Yeah. Um, and you yeah. don't, we, just, we just don't really have so much of that at the moment, so people do just go randomly ham on it, other people's asses. <laughs> but, which would be okay, but if you had those... If you had them in groups, if you had people that were working together to do one thing and maybe a group of people that were, were working together to stop them but there's no reason or no incentive this is actually the opposite there's the opposite of incentive to work with other people right now as it is a weakness right so if if i was to work with other people that means i have to rely on them to fly the ship or to use the guns or or whatever in some multi-crew ship or something like that mm-hmm. or i have to rely on them to be overly uh, overly communicate everything to make sure that I don't shoot them because there's no way for me to tell who they are, whether they're friendly or not. 
And yeah, I mean, that's the other thing, isn't it? Having friendly players displayed on your HUD would be useful. Or not even friendly <laughs> players. You, like, have everybody as neutral, but then have people in your party as... Yeah, in your yeah, party. yeah, a different yeah. color. Yeah, yeah that's, what, that's what I mean. Your, your, your actual party members, mm -hmm. just because yeah, that is, it is annoying when you're running around cray and you go, oh, sorry, Twike, I just shot you. Yeah, and, and by the time I find out, I'm already halfway through killing them, or they're yeah, dead. and and it, it, when you let off the mouse, they're they're the last few rounds have gone into you and you're dead. Like <clears> they've <throat> talked about, I didn't put it in the doc yet, but they talked about the player health system, uh, and oh, yeah, then yeah, working yeah. on that, and it and that's clearly kind of what the issue is is you you die very very quickly right now but so. you kind of should though you, you mean, should good. but slightly less fast than we do now i don't i yeah, mm, i don't know i mean you die in I mean, two seconds like it's I mean, not even i mean i mean you're gonna you're gonna be like <coughs> bleeding out upon me uh bleeding out and stuff in the future so i mean like you'll get shot like three times you'll get like your arm will be destroyed one of your legs might go down and then you might be bleeding out on the floor Mm -hmm. So, I mean, is that the sort of is that the sort of thing you you mean when you you're surviving because you're not technically dead yet, or do you, and you don't want so many bullets to, yeah, to take you down? Yeah, I mean, that's what the player health. I, that's what I'm assuming the player the second player mm -hmm. health system implementation is is instead of dying, maybe you're incapacitated or something like that, and then somebody needs to to help you and heal you, and and all that stuff's going to come in, mm -hmm. and and instead of it just you just boom doom, and now you're getting a uh, respawn i think it, i think that stuff will change quite a bit um in the next few patches probably yeah yeah, yeah. and and it'll i think it'll make things a little more more interesting i mean a big part of it is is in the middle of a fight there's that little delay right now with your your healing mechanic that that we currently have so you know you're getting shot you type you click h and five minutes later you actually heal that's a that's a problem, right? So like, yeah, we're, oh, sometimes in, it won't in the be middle of the fight, fifteen minutes or whatever, you, yeah, yeah, like in the middle of a fight, you get shot, you can go, oh shit, go behind cover, heal real quick, pop back out, and if he hasn't healed yet, then then you're now at the advantage or whatever. So like, it's just a matter of just these little things getting fixed, and mm -hmm. and I think it actually creates and makes things more interesting. But I don't know, you guys want to get into the news? Let's do, Let's it. do it. All right, so. Uh, a few of the things that happened this week that are pretty interesting is there's a free fly week. So mm -hmm. Star Citizen is free to fly right now. You can play it whenever you want. So if there's anybody new that's watching this YouTube video before April 25th, because that's when it ends, um, or anyone that's in the channel now that's just kind of like, oh, what is this Star Citizen thing? Um, you can try it now. And they're giving you the Mustang Delta. The Aurora LN and the Hornet F seven C to give a to give a tryout and and fly around the verse. So all combat related ships. And if you um, don't have every, the game, every, every account has them, doesn't it? Every, every account. account. So even even if you even if you already have Star Citizen and you don't have those ships, or even if you do have those ships, now you have two of them. And if you don't have Star Citizen at all, you can make an account, and yes. then you'll be able to download it and play it for those free flight days and any uh, potential upcoming free flight days as well. Correct. And then on top of that, on right now, and I believe until the, it is until the 22nd, I should have put that in, but I forgot to, uh, there's what they're calling the tax day sale. So April 18th uh, was tax day in America, which was the last day to get our taxes in. So they threw up a sale, maybe for people that are uh, getting their tax returns now, like I just got mine a couple days ago. And um, they have military ships that are for sale that were that haven't been on sale for a while so they have the aegis or not the anvil gladiator excuse me the anvil gladiator which is 165 mm -hmm. us dollars uh they have the aegis gladius which is 90 uh the aegis retaliator which is 275 dollars a big it's big the, cruise ship. it's the bomber variant as well you get all those torpedo bays yeah yeah it's cool um and then you have the hornet f7cm the super hornet which is uh, still one of the the ships of choice by like kind of the the high end dogfighter fighters right now. So uh, pick that one up if you're trying to get into it, uh, into any dogfighting and stuff like that. You have a lot of good choices there. And then with that, as soon as that sale is done, there's going to be another sale which we've been talking about for a couple of weeks, and that's the Miss Prospector. Mm -hmm. So if you so guys haven't heard about it, we'll just hit it real quick. It's that's uh, this Friday. This Friday. This Friday. Yeah. Really, really interesting. Two, 
two days from now if you if you have no idea what day it is. You're just one of those guys <laughs> that just just hangs out. It's just a know. day, man. It's just, just another day. day, man. Just another day, man. So it's the Miss Prospector. It's hundred and forty dollars. So obviously it's from Misk and it's gonna be a mining uh ship. It's gonna be a single seater. Uh, it's being made in the UK, and what they're saying, what they said on RTV, is that it's an inter- interesting shape, and not what you would expect. I think a lot of people are just expecting like a mini freelancer or something, and uh, it's n- obviously not going to be that. They're not just going to kind of do that. It, they're going to give us something. It's certainly, unique. it's certainly, although unique, I would definitely expect it to be very misc. Yeah, maybe the so, cockpit is very misc, but yeah. the rest of the ship yeah. is going to look very different. So. It's, it's going it's to be industrial, it's going to have purpose, but it's going to have those misc shapes that you've got with the star pair. It's going to be a yeah. spaceship. It's going to do some mining. It's going to be a spaceship. It's going to be an asset and star citizen. It's going to blow your mind. Blow your mind, man. But I, I mean, I'm quite excited for this. Would you consider buying one? I'm buying one, yeah. I'm actually going to... I'm going to melt my um, GN Scout. Some people were pissed at me yeah. when I no, said No, no, no. Yeah, get rid of your... What purpose does your Scout have at all for you? For, for me, it doesn't have one. So the, the reason that I got the GN Scout was I bought it before I knew that we were going to be able to rent ships and all that good stuff, uh, before any of that existed. So um, it was originally purchased because I wanted to be able to show off whatever implementation of an alien ship was going to look like uh, to my channel whenever it did come out. So I do have a few ships like that in my hangar that I have absolutely no plans for when the game releases. So they were always going to get melted and and that was one that was kind of I, that, I think of those ships. The scout is beautiful looking. The I think it has it, a purpose, it's just not for me. Well, yeah, exactly, exactly mm-hmm. same for me. It's a, it's a scout. It's a it's a it's a ship literally for for scouting and for evading and mm-hmm. skirmishing maybe it's it doesn't suit my needs at all i've got my yeah. saber that's that's my ship that's going to do pretty much all of that but too, yeah. I, I want it for combat i want i i, I don't mm-hmm. really need a scout at the moment sam i might get one in the game in the future um, but i don't want to buy one yeah, yeah. so that's going to be my prospector for sure we both have a purpose for that obviously so uh, I might buy the Prospector based on how they sell it. If they are talking about it getting deep into asteroid fields, being able to get the rare materials in in the the, the middle of them, being used with um, Orions to to literally prospect for resources, then I'm, I'm going to buy one. But if mm. it's just sort of like a smaller mining ship, I probably won't. I still will. Be around. Just because. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I have no interest in it whatsoever. Yeah, I figured you. Got, you, you have no real. In- He's got interest in other people buying them because he's a filthy pirate. So he yeah. wants more people to be miners. You're interested in their scraps <laughs> and, their, and what's left in them, right? <laughs> and they're too small. Well, we'll see. <laughs> too small. <laughs> too small. I won't even bother with the little fish. Wow. Well, you're gonna start. You gotta start somewhere, man. Yeah, I'll start somewhere. Yeah, big. So yeah, I mean, it, it should be interesting. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, new concepts are exciting. I'm also looking forward to whenever they they. I know Randy's Randy's Vasquez is in the chat lurking. Yeah. I want to see. Such a I want to see that caterpillar, Randy. That's what we want to yeah, see. All those, all those modules. I want to see the people caterpillar. Are, I know people I are really excited. The dragonfly. I want to see the buccaneer. I want to see the cutlass. So here's here's what we need from from Randy Vasquez. We need him to stop watching this channel. And. <laughs> Get and, back to work. And get back what, to what work. If he, what if he has multiple <laughs> monitors and he's just watching this while he works on the caterpillar? That is okay. I think that's. I think that's what a lot of the guys do. Yeah. Is is in, instead of listening to music uh, while see? they're while they're working. Yeah, we like that. Like this is the like, soothing with, sound with, of my voice. With luckily with uh, myself, we saw it. So l- there was a uh, Luke Presley was just kind of chilling, working on stuff, and he had my stream on one of his. What other if we monitors, don't want to wait? Know? And see what Calix has been working on. Why can't? Why don't we just see it? Yeah. Wait and show it to us now. Just, Come just, on, just okay. we won't tell just, anybody. Just, just show us half a URL. where guess the rest. We did last time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm living. I'm living the multi-monitor lifestyle. You better believe it. Yeah. I got six of them. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Do you guys want to talk about? So 2.4 features are locked, right? So I kind of put a list of what what they've been talking about and what kind of seems like it's going to be so in it. This, kind of- this means 
th this lock they're talking about means they're not going to add any more features, but they will take some away if they're not, f not, not absolutely. Ready. Yeah. So this is the lock that'll probably go to these Evocati testers, um, and maybe the Evocati guys get to see some things that might not make it in as well. Mm -hmm. Right, because uh, it just might not work, and or whatever. So they know what they kind of want for two point four. It may work, it may not. Like, uh, look back at the first implementation of the physicalized EVA. Right, they threw it in there. It didn't quite work, and they said, you know what, we're gonna hold it off. We're gonna polish it a little bit and give it to you later. So, um, number one, put your Illuminatis in the chat because Evocati. <laughs> then, Evocati. yeah, yeah. So. Uh, what they did say that they think will be in there is uh, reputation and ship loadouts should carry over through your game sessions. So um, even just your ship loadout being in game is awesome. Like mm -hmm. it is such a pain in the ass. Like like right now, I hope it just saves my my flight controls. Like whether I turn on uh, comm stab or not, it doesn't save that. Yeah. Jump. So uh, the, the idea here is that. A lot of the data that would normally be stored on your computer in XML files and that mm. sort of stuff will now be stored on a cloud, basically yeah. in game. So, it but also store all the based. all the uh, damage states and everything, so you won't just be able to reload and get a perfect ship again, or mm -hmm. you know you run out of uh, ammunition or fuel and all of that stuff. So, yeah, I think it. I mean, it's going to create that. It's like I already feel like the not role play stuff because like I've never really role played, but when I do play video games, I get I get immersed in them, and it's like okay, well yeah, I have to go to the gas station now, you know. Like, like, you don't role play, but you get into your role. Yeah, <laughs> I know what you mean. You, you know what I mean? Because I'm not like plays, pretending to be a character or something like that, but but I feel like I'm the person. I feel like I'm in. He the feels game. like he's Jack Sparrow. Oh he just God. doesn't no, I, actively I, play Jack Sparrow. You're yeah. a wizard, twerk! You're a wizard! <laughs> I don't like these guys anymore. anymore. They just pick on me all the time. That's all they do. That's all this is. They just pick on me. It's ridiculous. Oh, shit. Oh. It's ridiculous. So, so um, when, you, when you're Trixie, is that role-playing, or is that just you expressing yourself? Um, right now I'm role playing. When I'm Trixie, I'm just being myself. Yeah. So this role is this player is all role player confirmed. Right? Yeah. This is so all you role. just lied to us, and our what we were, was said was true. Then, anyways, confer what? continue. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, what one of the big things that are coming in is we're going to be able to change our like not our loadouts, but our we're going to be able to change our clothes. So. We're going to not always be wearing to armor to sleep, right? Uh, we're going to be able to wear... Oh, but it's maybe... so comfy. I, I can't imagine that armor is very comfy to sleep in. So uh, <laughs> we, can wear, we can wear normal clothes. And then uh, they're talking about this new flight suit that's coming in. And it's mm -hmm. based off the saddleball suit. And we have some pictures of what the saddleball suit looks like. So you can kind of get your idea. Like if you don't remember quite what it looks like, because they showed us the saddleball suit a long time ago. Um... <laughs> We can kind of see, get an idea of what we might be seeing, and they were talking about different colors, possibly. I don't know if that's going to come in the so first, much. first uh, but, implementation, but we we have some cool stuff. But that's what but, we're hoping for, isn't it? We're hoping that we're going to get those. I think it's six armor sets. Um, yeah, which we already sold, have hopefully. now, but we can buy them and switch between them mm -hmm. if we have them. Um, so they, this is the Sadaball well, helmet. Um, yeah, exactly. it won't be open face like this because you cannot breathe space. If you didn't know that, well, now you know, and don't make that mistake again. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I think like this is just like a general. This is the helmet. This isn't the suit. I think they're going more for what the suit is here. Um, sort of that yeah. spandexy material. So here you see, uh, Buddy, um, too hot in the red here, uh, with his little helmet and his little saddle ball outfit. And then you see this is the saddleball outfit in blue. It basically looks like a scuba diving outfit, just with colors. Yeah. It's very tight. Like, what if you're not in good? Like, does everybody just in great shape? Is because like, if I was in good shape, I'd I'd be uncomfortable wearing that thing. He's a really toffee guy. That's my character. Yeah. <laughs> you know. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know what you mean, yeah. Oh, well. Well, everyone's going to be the same build, aren't they? In Star Citizen, so it'll be Pretty fine. Pretty much. We're all going to be yeah. super I mean, there's just gene therapy, so nobody's space. fat in a thousand years in the universe. Right. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Nobody gets fat. So um, that is, that's the new flight suit. But so, yeah, like Board kind of hinted at it earlier was that all the suits that we have currently and some that we don't, right? Uh, we don't have mm-hmm. the heavy armor um, or not playable. for either side yet. That's we have playable them in the hangar. Consider. And we have them in, yeah, we have them in the hangar. Area 18. Yeah, but we but we do not have them in Crusader. So uh, they're going to put each armor set in Cubby Blast in Area 18 as the first implementation. The current, um, the last words that they said about these, we, we spoke about it a bit last week, was that in Crusader, inside Port Alistar, they're going to be upgrading that to have shops that we can buy things there so we can do everything within the universe build uh, and not have to switch between... Uh, the planet side and come back and all that stuff. Is that is that true? Is it going to be everything there, or is it just going to be a shopping experience? I I don't know with a hundred percent certainty because they're still sort of hush hush about it because it's not done. But they want to have all the shops there. They might have to rebrand oh, like them the in remote, the future. Okay, yeah, okay, like yeah. It could be the remote shopping experience they've been talking about stuff like yeah. that as well. Okay, yeah. Okay. I think I don't think it's not, well. Remote is like by your Moby Glass. You mean right? Well, yeah, that's what that's what I mean. I think no, make, there's going to be shops in Crusader. Okay. Like, we're going to go somewhere and actually physically buy things there. They're they're they were talking about upgrading Cru- uh, upgrading Port Alistar for you to be able to do that. And and as of the last thing they said, there's some it doesn't elevator seem like that it's... goes down or something. I don't know something. Like yeah, that. like they they didn't really say much about it. Be, I don't think it's going to be in two point four. So it's it's still in development. But mm-hmm. it's something that they plan on bringing in. So for now, it's likely that we'll have to go to Area 18, go to Cubby Blast, choose these armors. And I don't know. I, I think it's kind of interesting. What what off the bat, like, which armor do you think you're going to use? I don't know. Like, I know that the medium armor right now takes quite a bit of, you know, eats quite a bit of damage. But uh, I, I'm assuming they'll make, numbers they'll make negative, like negative side effects as well, right? They said that you're not yeah, going to be able to fly you, certain ships. You move slower. Your stamina and... runs out quickly with each one. Yeah. Like that, that stuff's already in the XMLs if you look at them. Um, like bleed out ability too was different on each of them, I think. Like that was so in what? there, but that doesn't exist in game yet, as far as I can tell. At the moment, I'll probably go for heavy, heavy marine armor. I mean. When the game comes out, I, I like to be super lightly armored and fast and stealthy. But uh, until then, where there's lag and uh, desync and stuff, I'll go for the heaviest armor I can. Yeah, why not? Mm-hmm. Right. Um, yeah, I'll probably be yeah. the heavy as well. That's just my plus play style, though. Plus, it's because we never, we haven't had them yet. I think that's what I would probably go with first, just to see what it's like. Right? We haven't used them in a fight yet. Mm-hmm. Like we've run around our yeah. corp with yeah. them, but that's Fair different. Point. Um. So there will also be civilian clothing. I, I kind of mentioned that before. So uh, you might just we might just have like, t-shirts. Yeah, or like shorts and a t-shirt. You know, you kind of walk around Crusader or uh, around Port Alistar in. And then they made a little, um, a little <laughs> like, pirate stride steal my constellation. I'm just there in some pants. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know the first thing. Like we were talking about this before the podcast. The first damn thing I'm doing is trying to go outside in normal clothes and seeing what happens. Wow. Yeah. Cool. I'm assuming we're just gonna die right away, but what yeah. if we don't? <laughs> hopefully, the, um, we don't, you know. Hopefully the airlocks won't open. They'll go. And hopefully that's not a no. bug either. Or yeah. you, even if I you're hope... in suits and you just die. Yeah, I'm hoping we get to strip down to our underwear and just like run around in our underwear all day. That's Let's probably what I'll just do. And then... yeah. <laughs> can't that's wait. That's not even in Star Citizen. That's in his house. I'm so mate. excited. Naked. I'm, I just Yay. be role role playing my real life in Star Citizen. Yeah. That's all. Um, but yeah, so with with all that, we I'm assuming that the initial implementation of like Alpha UEC is coming in, and we kind of we're we're hinting at this earlier too about you know doing missions and earning money and and all that stuff. So with all this, well, we have to buy these things, so we have to have some sort of money to buy them so mm-hmm. you would have to think that with 2.4 is definitely going to come that alpha uec currency that they've been talking about and and i think we kind of hit it a lot earlier is is that it's going to create those kind of things that were that were 
getting bored of right now and and making them a bit less bored at least and and at least people will be grinding those areas and with that grind will become you know something for Soros to do like oh i know that lots of people are going to the ICC probe today cuz they're they're trying to get their missions or you know so you kind of are going to get an idea of what people are interested in doing and where people are now obviously i think we still need a, f- a bit more people in servers to make it uh, mm-hmm. full enough to to have that experience because I I know a lot of a lot of times I'm in game and and my server's full but I don't quite know where anyone is you know it's, it's still it's still a bit hard to find people but um, I think it should make things a bit more interesting with that so I'm looking forward to that for sure and then uh, there'll be like little lockers right at the airlocks so that's where you'll be kind of swapping your uh, your clothes before you uh, close into armor and, and your flight suits or, or whatever you feel like putting on before you get out there. So I don't know. If if we're able to choose colors, if we're able to choose colors mm-hmm. of our flight suits, I know our armor will probably stay the same. What color would you guys choose? Yellow. Bright yellow. I think we are I think it's pretty obvious what we're all gonna choose. Board Bart's yellow, source like red, blue, blue and blue. white. I'll be red and black. Yeah. But maybe I would just go with pink and uh, green. Unlikely. Oh, that's... I want to. It's it's a space camo space camouflage. Oh my! No one, <laughs> no one will see me. No, no like, when that's I, when I that's X-Dom, the that's the annoying camouflage, right? He's so annoying that every, that's the your problem camouflage. It's like you look <laughs> at it and it's like that's not my problem. That's your problem, and they just yeah. ignore you. <laughs> like problem, everyone. Camouflage. That I made, like all the subs that I made in XCOM, all chose the brightest, most ridiculous armor. Like, don't you guys like want to be camouflaged? Like, I don't get it. But nope, they want it to be bright and ridiculous. Mm-hmm. They want it to be seen. And I guess the last thing that they that like we definitely kind of know or think that we know will be in uh, 2.4 is this port mo- modification thing, they where ports, we'll be yeah. able to kind of customize our hangars and move ships around and maybe initially kind of move some of our Hanger flare fire. items around and things like that and kind of make our so hangars our own. This will also be us being able to change hangars and move ships around just yeah. from in-game. We don't know more website. Mm-hmm. No web- website bullshit. Because the website is so yeah, not, being not able only to do everything in game is important. Yeah, like having to close your game and reopen it. I hope that that doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. Like I hope that doesn't isn't what needs to to make the changes. Maybe initially it will, but hopefully in the future it won't. Hopefully it's like, okay, you changed it now. Like you know, go out this door, go in your elevator, and come back down, and you're mm-hmm. good. Because th- that's one of the most annoying things. Is like, oh, show me the show me the star fair, or show me this hangar, and. It's like, well, all right, hold on. Let me go to the website. Let me close my game. Let me re-log in. Let me wait a few minutes, and then I'll show it to you. Yeah. It's so that that should be really cool to make some changes and, and easily be able to do it. Twerk. Yeah. You think CIG is gonna have a party when uh, Star Citizen releases? <laughs> okay. okay. What a <laughs> shitty ass question to ask on ten for the chairman. So, all right. So, this is what we're going into next. This this ten for the chairman was was interesting. I I, I was I was disappointed. Maybe maybe the questions weren't. Maybe I, let's assume that they didn't have the best questions to work with. I think but they I think they got the. Do you need to drink water to survive don't, like every don't other ask human being? These questions. Don't ask these questions, Barrel. That's what happened. And they okay. grabbed the wrong part of the They questions. grabbed the wrong barrel because somebody seriously asked. <laughs> When Squadron 42 and Star Citizen comes out, will you have a party? And they asked that as one of the 10 questions on 10 for the Chairman. Like, the last 10 for the Chairman before he goes to the UK for, like, weeks. And we're not going to see him. And and we all know that the 10 for the Chairman episodes are really when he gives the, mm-hmm. the like, a lot of a lot of dirt. We hear a lot of stuff of, of what's in his mind and what could be coming and, and, and what, he's, what, he ha- what he has the guys working on. That they're, like, he always tells us the stuff that nobody else is telling us, mm-hmm. right? And they seriously asked that question. So I wrote yeah, one this of the is first what I wrote. Ones. The, this is what I wrote in the doc. In the doc. Seriously, <laughs> will you have a party when the game releases? Question mark. Nope. He's gonna go home and kick his dog and eat 
and eat takeout. That's yeah. what he's going to do. That's what he's he's going to go home, kick his dog right yeah. in the ass, and eat takeout. Of course he's going to yeah. have a fucking party. The whole office is going to have a party. It's going to be the most hyped thing ever. It's probably going to be live streamed. We're all going to be super hyped. We're all going to be having a party. It's going to be great. But but my, uh, why my is that question that I really enjoyed, my, my one that I enjoyed, because it gave me quite vivid images, is um, are you going to motion capture animals oh yeah that was another another 10 out of 10 question they should have done 10 for the chairman on 420 this week fucking brutal (laughs) yeah okay so listen i get that people want to have fluffy their favorite cat or or lola or or their little puppy dog in there but i'm gonna tell you right now the majority of the pets will probably be some sort of space creature and there's no real way to motion capture yeah like we know Fictional we ca- space dogs, creatures, for sure. Probably, you know, like, come on. So, saying that, they do base um, they'll base the animals on right. the animals. So they'll have stuff based on lobsters and spiders and things like that. But it's just it Is was it just an odd thing in my it's brain like... when I was like, "You're going to motion capture a lobster, <laughs> crabs, <laughs> and stuff." It just it was it was just a weird visual image. It was, it was yeah. I mean, that was one of the more interesting. And for the chairman's, to say the least, I, I just that the, as as someone who who is you know really into the game and and really pays attention to the news, and I'm one of thousands of people that do this every week. Um, I I don't know any other way to say it other than um, don't ask I stupid think- questions. No, it's not like I think we deserve better than that. Yeah. Um, this is the, this as, is as okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it from from Devil's Advocate here and say maybe there's not a lot of people asking questions. Yeah, that's okay? what I said. There's probably but not a this, lot of this good is, questions to ask. My response to that would be, you would know as CIG the questions we should be asking, based on the stuff that we ask on a reverse the verse and around the verse and things like that. That if there's something that he's working on that maybe he could talk about now that we are completely unaware of, maybe that should replace one of these questions like, "Are you gonna have a party when CI when Star Citizen releases?" <laughs> that was just right that was or just an odd question. Like it? I understand why they want to go back and hit some of the questions that we've hit before. Um, we get new new citizens all the time, you know. In between the time that that I've backed and and now there's been a, a significant jump in in yeah. backers but questions like that are are not and, they don't and have no place there. on it when, when you're limited to 10 yeah you know I mean, if you're just going to ask a bunch of questions like whatever you know you can have but, that little that but, little one in there to make chris laugh and and maybe that's what that was there for it's just you know chris most, you've, you've had a rough week and here you go have some interesting fun. question they asked on 10 for the chairman this week was the first one and it was the answer was something that we've gone over before a few times. He would just basically describe the item system 2.0 and the way that the piping system works from but that the need, way that that needs stuff. to happen. But yeah, but but he's already described that a few times. But that doesn't now, mean mm-hmm. that doesn't mean that everyone's seen it. Like I'm totally okay with those. That that they've been through mm-hmm. that and and that you just have to to as as someone that's as into the game as you well, are, as mm-hmm. I am, as Soros yeah. is. You have to understand that not everyone's like us. Well, we're that's what I'm we're one of a that's... group of a few thousand people that do this every week, that pay attention to this stuff. No, There's I, t- I totally agree facts. with you. And that, that was going to be my point as well. Maybe we're spoiled a bit because yeah. we, we, we have quite a lot of, of okay, not, knowledge about the game. No, no, no. I'm, right. I'm saying that a lot of these questions that we see as silly or like we've heard them a thousand times before come on. That may, It's because we're spoiled a bit because we, we, we do follow it so much. We do understand yeah. it. And so there needs to be a level of accessibility there that anyone is able to ask. Right. And that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I think that there should be yeah. that accessibility. And, and repeating mm-hmm. questions isn't always a bad thing. But, no, not at but, all. But there is the caveat of there are questions that are completely irrelevant. Of course, that's the answer to that. Like, I, you don't even have to ask him that. We know the answer to that, right? And it shouldn't have been on there. And I would, like, I would if rather you're see, ask that question. Ask eleven. I, w- I would rather For see me. questions I'm come okay from that. CIG, like from internally that ask Chris stuff. And maybe a, a few questions that come from the community that are handpicked, then have questions like this come up. Well, may, maybe have a literally a mix. Have a have a 
five have 50 percent high level questions yeah. so literally quite technical questions stuff that's totally new stuff that people are like yeah that's really juicy if you're a real big super mm. fanboy and then have five as fun questions or going over stuff that's been asked before yeah. that's important and sprinkle Boom. them together like this yeah. you know what i really like to see is um a 10 for the instead of 10 for the chairman Mm-hmm. Like if it's ten for the chairman, I'd love to see um, an episode with Chris and then Matt Sherman, or Chris and Randy Vasquez, or Chris and um, I don't know yeah. anybody. It could even be on Skype, so they can talk about the current things that they're working on together and have a conversation instead of him. Just sort of like to... what we see that's, that's in, a good the, idea. in the subscriber it's, it's jump point. It's similar to the point. live streams. Yeah. Sort of well, no, what, like what we idea. see in the jump point, right? Like when they're they're going back and forth and talking about something. But yeah. with, say, like, uh, Calix, how he's working on the Caterpillar, and with Chris Roberts and going back and forth, what do you think of this, it's, and what do you think of this? And It's when Chris asks people questions on live streams, they give the full answer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, because they don't feel scared about getting something wrong. They, Chris yeah. is in front of them. They tell Chris, the, they answer Chris with the question he's just asked. And, I and like Chris that can always say, oh, you know, tell him what you're working, like, this is that you're working on. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah, boom. And they just do it. They say it. They don't have to cover stuff up. Um, yeah, so I, I really like that idea, Twerk. Do, do this, idea. Now, Wu Jen in the chat says, how about this radical idea, which is what I thought was happening originally, was let the subscribers ask the questions, which is what happens now, and let the... Oh, this is, says let the full player base pick the questions the from questions. them. So, so the full player base oh. votes the questions up. I think that's actually a really good idea. And that's then, a good idea. That's but, a good idea. I wonder if event like it may not happen right away, but do you think that we may see something like uh, how 4chan tried to like where they'll just and not necessarily 4chan, but just like people would just vote on the stupidest questions just for as a joke. No, no, That's because, fine, because it doesn't because matter. C- CIG can can cherry pick the ones that they want everyone else to vote on. Yeah, because That's they can't. They, it, it can't be when is when is Star Marine coming out. Because there's no because there's no we answer. Already, we already we already know it, it's out. Yeah. It's already We've had out. it. We've had it for ages. Yeah. yeah. So, so I think I, I'm just you know I think we're and I don't feel like we're shitting on anybody right now. I think we're trying to have like a pretty productive conversation about how uh, the information gets sent sent to us and 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 everything. And I I think I think we're being pretty productive here. And I think that's an interesting way of going about it. Is they can vote on things, and they they should have to choose the highest voted ones as long as they're able to be answered, right? Obviously, there's some answers that just it it's it doesn't make sense because they're not ready to talk about it or whatever. But if they're ready to talk about it, choose one of those. I, I, I would try and keep 99% of the questions based on the game, not are CIG going to have a party? Yeah. Or I mean, do. Do, do your yeah. employees bring their kids into work? Do they have daycare? Just stuff that's totally relevant from the game. Just don't don't have on there. Don't yeah, have 10 for the chairman. That's for when Chris, Chris has, like, an ask me anything or something, you know? Like, that's yeah. not... Really... Yeah, like, like I said, if you're going to ask a question like that, ask ask 11 questions then, you know? And if we, you want to not... wanted to get personally, because I know, I, know, I know personally, like, uh, since Disco's come in, one of his goals was to... To really show the personalities of everyone that that works there, and they've done That's a good. really really good job of yes. that. And it might have mm-hmm. been the point of that question. I don't even know who and who chooses the questions. I don't even think it was Disco. Someone mentioned that it was Thomas Hennessy in the chat. I don't know. It really doesn't matter. But I know. That that's really what the guys go for, and that's actually really what I like. I love to see the personalities of everybody, and I think that that's important. And maybe that's what the whole point of that question is to see how Chris reacted to it, and see, you know, maybe maybe he was going to get really excited about what it was going to be like when the game released, and maybe it could have been a really cool question. But I don't think it's a question that's necessarily for ten for the chairman, especially right before he leaves. You know, it's the last one we're going to have for him for a while. 11 for the chairman where each week they have a silly question they add <laughs> oh. but yeah we're not we're not annoyed at the person asking we're slightly annoyed at cig for picking that question to be asked yeah. <laughs> slightly annoyed I, I just, it could be done so, better so. but it's just i want to mine chris chris's mind I mean, this, yeah. and this is the perfect opportunity to do it. And everything that comes out of Chris's mouth is normally something new that I want to hear. And when I get that gets taken away from me, oh, oh. We get set. 
yeah, we got upset. And but I mean, nerds, that, yeah, like angry nerds. RTV is the 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 place for something like that, right? It's the yeah. Yeah. the informal live stream for the fans with the fans, all that stuff. This is the very very form. This is the most formal of anything that they do each week. It is a question, and then it is an answer, and it is related to the game, and and it's related to things that are coming typically. Do you and think Chris just is here to see it this week? I can't believe we've been think, talking about this this long. But. Do you think Chris <laughs> is a little bit difficult to, to film and work with sometimes on the live stream stuff? So I've seen him and he's a li- I think he's a little bit naughty. Like when he was banging on the table that time he got told not to. Do you Maybe. remember that? I don't know. He's like... The, on, there was a micro. There was the, yeah, on the live was, stream. He was it, asking. And he, and he just said, boom, 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 yeah. boom. The <laughs> disco just looked and went, oh, Chris has got to be Chris. Just. <laughs> and I think that he's quite naughty and quite difficult to work with sometimes. We love you, Chris. The well, maybe he's, a, maybe he's a jokester around the office. And I, think he, I think he probably pranks, is a little pranks bit. Pranks people a little bit every now and then. Yeah, well, yeah, he's out I with his comfort zone, I think. Like maybe when he's kid. doing the. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't but, think he takes direction from. Community yeah. very well. <laughs> yeah. that's Maybe that's the best way to put it. When he's being filmed, when when he's being filmed, when he's like doing stuff that's like I'm not working on the game, I'm doing the, the, this community thing. I think he's just like, well, I'm going to do it my way. He can't tell me what to do. Maybe. <laughs> and I really like that about him. I really like Chris. I think he's, <laughs> he's indeed. He's a big kid. Yeah, that's what people are saying in the chat. No. I, I think he's amazing. But I, I definitely want, I like to see him with the other devs a lot. Because mm-hmm. the interaction that they have with each other is is always brings Amazing. out interesting things. So I think I would like to see that with with more more with Ten for the Chairman. Who was the um, the was larger ten- Asian chap and uh, Jeremiah uh, Lee? Jeremiah Lee. Um, who was he with on that Ten for the? Um, he was, was in the cha- he was in our chat last week. He's the fucking coolest guy. I, yeah, I know. Sean Tracy. Sean Tracy. Sean Tracy. They yeah. were so good together, man. Their their relationship is just amazing. Yeah, that's a, that's that's the thing. Like when Matt and Calix are together, when when yeah. when they yeah. oh, when they have two two people together. Mm-hmm. Jeremiah was oh, with he, Will. Sean Jeremiah Tracy was, was on with. Twice. Sean Tracy, the really good one was when he was with. I was forget with the guy's name. But Sean was, was on that, multiple ones. Remember? That, Excellent. That, I remember that. That's my, was that when he was the ever loving midget? Was that alert. that one where he fell off the chair? Yeah, yeah, that was the one where he fell off the chair. <laughs> yeah. So they've, they've yeah, that was Steve Bender. Really Steve Bender. Moments, I think. Steve Bender. Yeah, it was Bender. Yeah, Tracy and Bender. Yeah. I think that was that was amazing. That was amazing. Um, they've had some really good golden moments on their um, some of the shows they've done. Um. So I'm getting nostalgic. Why am I getting nostalgic? I don't know. What's going on? It's your fault. What's wrong with right? you? But I don't know. We're kind of, kind of towards the end now. Uh, the the last thing before we go is if you we mentioned it last week, but if you haven't checked your Star Citizen related email, you should have your five dollar Benny questions. coupon. If you if you haven't yet, then well, that's a, that's for people that clicked on. The April Fool's Buy Me Now Benny's thing mm-hmm. got yeah. fooled. Which you so can got the... still click on, I think. Can you? I think so. Yeah, that's, that's to be confirmed, but try to do that if you haven't, guys. If you haven't. The... Yeah, because I'll at least give you the title. Right I don't think it'll give you the $5 off, but it'll at least give you the title. I didn't see the email come in for me, but who knows? It's probably in yeah, there. Yeah, I with... know I got, my, I got my email. I got a billion email addresses I gotta check every day. Okay, uh, so let's th- move on to questions. Christians. Uh, our first one is from IDD, and he asks, "Will you have a party when Star Citizen comes out?" Do you guys oh, think Star uh, Citizen will have enough endgame content for solo players? No, I fear it will be too UEC driven for them. And once they bought and equipped all the ships, they are pretty much done and have to wait the content created for CIG for solo players. I don't think so. I think this game is gonna going to favor people who work in groups. Um, it's just gonna be how it is. So I'm that's my... I'm nervous to see what happens for solo players. I think we'll start to see the first parts of it now, well, like in this next patch when you're doing missions. If you're doing them by yourself, and the, the, the I, guess game... I guess they're capable of being done by yourself now. But I think the game will cater for solo players to do a lot of stuff. End game is a bit of an abstract concept in Star Citizen. Yeah. 
uh, because it technically, it's, it technically it could all be end game. There's no experience. You're, you can uh, participate at any level immediately, effectively. Mm-hmm. You can be the gunner on a javelin straight yeah. away. You can, you, can, you can pilot that if you want to. So it's a, a bit of an abstract concept. I do think the game tends to want people to work together, to hire NPCs, to do stuff in groups, to work with those NPCs, to work with other players. Yeah. But I do think there's going to be a, a place for, for mercenaries, for solo players, for for people just exploring. There's going to be solos, explorers out there that are just riding off into the bloody sunset, mate, just 24 seconds. That's true. Like. Exploring seems like it could be uh, something it's that a, a possibility. solo player would probably enjoy. Out of all the things that are mining, but I mean... But what I mean, it depends on what you mean by end game content. And and to be yeah, honest, like, it's, it's way too premature for us to even be asking this, answering this question. But um, this is just sort of us guessing. Yeah, just kind of just like thinking about what it could be like. But I think Source is probably thinking of it like when you said no right away. Is are are you kind of thinking of it from a from a combat point of mind? Well, I'm thinking like, of doing- what what are you, what does everybody consider end game stuff? End game so hard, like, like the big going boss, and finding, yeah. yeah, finding like going up against the Van Duel, going up against other big orcs, going uh, and and exploring, fighting capital uh, ships, yeah, yeah, fighting capital ships and fighting big derelicts and things like that. You're just, it's just not going to be something you're going to be able to do solo. Yeah, you know? even even mining, you, you like, and all that stuff, exploration and stuff. There's only so much you can do by yourself. It's always better to work in a team. It's just more fun, and, too. But, yeah. but, you, but you solo players will be able to be catered for. You will be able to do NPCs. stuff. You will be able to well, do you know, stuff, but I don't think... You'll be able to rent NPCs as well, to be able to slightly, at least, alleviate yeah, that. Yeah, but I don't think it's this... I don't think it'll be the same. No, no, you're right. You're right. It's better to work with groups of players and NPCs. Um, so, yeah. And he asks another question here. Uh, in the way CIG build their levels with adjustable and interchangeable assets, would you welcome a dumbed-down in-game version available to the players? I think the players would like it. Buying real estate on selected planet could colorize that way for immersion. I don't know what you're asking. It's and there's not even I, I yeah I don't uh, a dumbed-down version of of what? I think it may may be so that we could build planets ourselves no no buying real estate on planets like but well, we already know that we're going to be able to do that yeah they, they said we should be able to buy they said we're going to be able to buy apartments and whatever i'm not really sure what you're asking there so i'm gonna just move forward but uh thank you for the, the <laughs> questions <laughs> anyways um our next one is from Wu Jen. what will be on the star citizen 1.0 commercial release list what will we have when Star Citizen goes live? No idea. <laughs> these are these are our questions. That, I mean, we can sort of. It's ten guess. for the chairman for us this week. That's what's right? going on. Uh, you're gonna have a party? No, but so we, we know that the, we know basically some of the features. Though I mean, w- what we've talked about, we're gonna have um, white crew ships. We're gonna have a persistent universe. We're gonna have a fully fleshed out universe. Um, it's it's it, no surprises. I, I I wouldn't expect for the commercial re- release of, of the PU. It's mm-hmm. it's, it's going to be what they've been selling to us all along, which is going to be mainly persistence in what we have at the moment and a lot of other mechanics, exploration, um, mining, an economy. I mean, we don't know what forms these are going to take yet. Uh, and there's quite a lot of different mechanics and a lot of different extra ships and uh, the way NPCs work and stuff that we can't really envision at all because it's such a huge scope that we don't have yet. But, I mean, it, it, they have talked about it. So I wouldn't expect anything surprising. Just stuff that yeah. I would expect. <laughs> that's, like, that's quite a vague yeah, answer. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to answer. I mean, I don't know. We know there's still ships coming, but we don't know what ones are going to be out before the game comes out. Because we, we did, they did tell us that we're not going to see all of the ships. Like, we even all the ships that we have yeah, now, we just we might don't know see. what ones we will and what we yeah. won't. So. That, that's fine. I want Star Citizen to keep on developing. I want them to keep making ships. After at least. Yeah, 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 of yeah. course, of course. But for us to answer specifically what question or what, what ships they're going to be launching with, I'm not going to put myself in that position and say these ones. Oh, yeah. I, I just, they don't, don't know, they don't know either. Yeah. 
CIG that it doesn't make any sense. It's way too early at this point. Way too mm -hmm. early. Um, Tovirus asks, uh, board gamer, if you hack the Oculus stuff, have you tried Eve Valkyrie? No, I'm just going to double, triple check to make sure it's not breaking any agreements with anything. For, and I don't want anyone to like blacklist any of my videos or anything. Uh, as long as that's okay, then I'll see if I can get uh, Valkyrie to work because I really do want to play some Eve Valkyrie and I'd love to play it on the, on the Vive. Um, and if I can do that, I'll get a video up as well, or at least write about it or talk about it. Um, so tomorrow I will check that out. There you go. Nice. Uh, Steve J 1397 asks, do you think that CIG offering in-game rewards, uh, example, UEC for doing missions, FPS kills, ship kills, will encourage more player interaction in the game? To a certain extent? Yeah. yeah. We'll get more people playing the game as well. People will play it more often. And if there's progression, mm, I, rewards... I disagree. I think we're going to see the same thing we've been seeing with all the patches. They'll be interesting for a week, a week and a half, and then player base will start to significantly drop off. Until the next no. patch. No, at at some point, at some at point, some point, not anytime soon. Not any. I don't think it's going to be anytime within the next four or five months. I think it's sooner than you think. I hope so. I hope. I hope but I'm not wrong. as soon as you'd like. I hope so, I'm wrong. Well, you you're always going to see player drop off. I think that the persistence yeah. <clears throat> and having rewards that are pers that persist that you don't have to do every fucking time you'd log in, um, that will hold the player base longer. So that you'll get less drop off, or at least mm -hmm. slower drop off, um, because you you can't stop that drop off. You're totally right. Yeah. And people get really interested for a little while and then stop playing because that's what yeah. players do. That's people get interested for a very brief period of time. Um, so it's all about holding on to them for as long as you can. So I think that will help hold on to them. Okay. Um, yeah. This it'll retain more people. Yes. Yeah, player retention for a longer period of time. Yeah. This next novel. I'm just going to bring the oh first my question. God. Yeah. No. No. I'm just bringing the first question. Um, this is from Syracuse23. Do you think that different careers and activities in Star Citizen should be separated more by gameplay or more by lore? By gameplay and then backed up with lore. No, no. You think it should be gameplay backed up by lore? Yes, I do. Because you, you want the gameplay there because that's we're playing the game we need yeah. to be interested. And then, the, then they can write the lore in to back it up. I mean, that's the way I do it. Yeah, that's I think that's how they've been... But that's not the way they've been doing it at all for Star Citizen. It's always no. started with lore, <laughs> yeah. and then and then and turned then into gameplay. Been turned into which, gameplay. Which is something part. that they that they had to do because of the. Well, amount they of knew they were going to turn content. it into gameplay. Yeah. I, I think Eren, though, is there as a fixer. I think Eren looks at it more and goes, "No, yeah, great. I understand the law. Going to fiddle around with it, twist on its head, and then make it so that it's gameplay." So I think he, he he does fix a lot of that stuff. If I was doing it, and I'm not a game developer, let's start with that, and I'd be shit at it because I'm really erratic, I would still do it gameplay and then backed up by law, just because that's my way my brain works. And I, I still think that's the best way of doing it. I mean, you're not going to get In such a In a non-open rich... development situation, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, maybe... Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and as, a, as a follow-up to that, should a career in Star Citizen appeal to you because of its lore or because of its mechanics? I'm going to say 100% its mechanics. Is, is yeah, how I think it should, it should appeal, appeal to you because of the mechanics. Yeah. But it, it does. I mean, I love the lore, but I, I'd love the game just as much without the lore. Think yeah, about what makes. I uh, see. I can have the game without the lore, but I can't do the lore without the game. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a gamer. I, I click through Star everything. Star Citizen without the lore, you would not no. have like the thing about Star Citizen is every single nut and bolt of every piece of your weapon and your ship is made by this company and that company, which, and it which comes is from great, this planet. But this, this, I love. I love that because of the mechanics behind it. I love yeah. the fact that each of those each of those parts are started. Different with what the, yeah. that base from the lore yes i totally understand it, 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 what totally... makes it unique and interesting well that's why so many people backed it that because yeah. of the law you're totally right the, the law this, this is all before they started talking about in-game mechanics the way that you know with the dev posts and and the the mining mechanic post and the 
the but passenger transport posts as, that were just like, holy shit, these guys are as crazy. As a gamer, yeah. as a quite a hardcore gamer myself, I'm 99% interested in those mechanics. I love the lore, don't get me wrong, I love it. It's juicy, it's beautiful, and I like to make videos about it. But those mechanics are what's drawing me in. Those, the, the idea, yes, I love the fact they're all done by different manufacturers, but it's the actual stats behind all those systems working together. It's the, the, the beauty of the ships exploding. It's the actual physical gameplay. And I, wouldn't I don't disagree damn. with you at all. Mm. But, but you see, it, what makes Star Citizen unique is the yes. lore. What makes Star Citizen Star Citizen rather than generic, cool game. Um, but so I, I, when I first played WoW, for example, I mean, ev everyone's their unique own gamer. Let's get that sort of as well. I, I just click through everything. I'll be quest. I'm the same way. Yeah, I don't read it. I don't. I don't I don't know what's going on in, in unless in unless I it's, it unless I need it's an absolutely need to know to complete the quest. Like you have to type in what it says, like a certain numbers, and he says it. Other than that, I give two shits. This is just me personally. I don't care about lore. I care about gameplay, and that's it. The lore is nice, so and I know some people they really are into it, and they can go and buy books about WoW and read those books and get all into the backstory. I could give and two I don't shits do that. about that. I don't I, care I about love, that stuff. I love the lore, but not when I'm gaming. If I'm in the pub or just chatting or mumble, I will love talking about lore or reading. When I'm mm. gaming, I don't want to experience the lore at the same time. Yeah, I, I want to play the game. I'm really like really obsessed and focused on uh, grinding, killing, uh, making UEC, finding techniques to do stuff. I mean, I, if I, if I find something like I find that I think secret or like special, like a, a voice com or or something, I'll be like, I will read that. I'll be like, oh, that's pretty cool. Mm. Um, or that's like a treasure map or something. Something I think's a little bit more sort of like just for me. I might be a bit more interested in reading it. But if it's just pure lore and fluff, I'll, t I'll do that at a different time. I'll experience that at a different time, not while I'm gaming. See, I don't know. I'm very different from you guys. Like, when I play Mass yeah. Effect, I ask every single question option. I listen to everything that they say, and I, and I try and take it all in. So. Who did you have sex with in Mass Effect? One, two, and three. One was... Ashley. Two was Miranda, and I can't remember three. Miranda, yeah, yeah, Garrus. You can't remember three. <laughs> I think three oh, yeah. was the uh, sorry, the yeah, the she's, researcher. She's hot. She, she's hot. Yeah, yeah. She's hot. Yeah. Yeah, she's she's not real. Uh, she's I not real. accidentally accidentally slept with the journalist. She's not even that hot. <laughs> just, just uh, yeah, she's, on, she's like older, through. man. No, no, no. What have I done? And then she went, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. bad times. And that, that's a good <laughs> that's example a of a game part. that uses the lore as the mechanic. Yeah. Yes. Which so, is different. So that, that, and you can't really do so that, that in a multi massive multiplayer game. I, I'm not going to be clicking through everything when I'm playing Squadron 42. Squadron 42 for will be different. That's right. Squadron yeah. 42 will be yeah. different. That's, that's more of me watching a TV show that I'm in control of. Or like a it's, movie. An inter yeah. it's an interactive game and movie because that's that's what this game is that's what squadron 42 is for me it's chris roberts has been directing his movie that he's now made into a game and it's interactive because that, that he's done it in lots of different ways for each different player and yeah. i love that i i think it's going to be a I, I do think it's going to be the first probable movie game hybrid almost that's proper interactive i i'm really excited for squadron 42 I, I was researching it the other day and i was like i actually am really excited about this game and i'm not <laughs> oh, really yeah. excited about single player games what was the for, for both of you what was the last single player game that really excited you like before it came out or just no, during, no, or like no, while i was uncharted playing. 3 probably Un the whole, 3 uh, actually i played the whole uncharted series back to back from one till three. Wow, yeah. that's that's dedication. Yeah, that, that's, that was that's that's that was like me. Watch, that was like watching Indiana Jones, though. Why I got into it, Mine and I didn't Mass have to Effect. read it. They they told us. So why was it Mass Effect and not XCOM Two? Well, I wasn't like people were like, you should play XCOM Two, and I was like, mm -hmm. okay. So I played it and I had fun with it and it was cool, but it wasn't like Mass Effect was for me, where I was just. Again, like that was the last time that I was really engaged and felt like I was in the game, and and so, I was the one making the decisions, and I I wasn't thinking about my water bill or man, when, I have to go to I have to go to work tomorrow, or I was 
in the game, you know? For, for that was the last time there. that I had, like, a 10-hour gaming session. When was the first time you played the first one of that series? When was the earliest time? So The for, day for it you, came Mass- out. I, I played... So Mass Effect. It took me a week to beat all three. Day, day one. Sorry, so what was that, Saurus? It took me a week to beat all three. Mass Effects? No. no but wh- when did you play them? When did you first play the you first? Did, you didn't go through Oh, Uncharted? Everything. I don't know. That's several years ago. So I whenever think Mass- Whenever that... Uncharted 3 came out, I bought it as a pack, and I just played through all of them. For me now to get excited about a single-player game, it has to have a- an element of nostalgia for me. Mm-hmm. It has to. It has to have that now. Otherwise, I just can't get interested. I'm just totally, like, I don't, I don't even understand why I'd be interested in that game. I don't, it doesn't have the spark for me. So when you talk about Mass Effect, you played the first Mass Effect when you were younger, and the others were just, I need to play this. And, and for me... Well, I it's... mean, that's what Mass Effect did, because it was, it was one of the mm-hmm. first games that... Well, how they really... So- like, they didn't do a good implementation of it, but how they really sold it to you was, you had to play the next one because of the decisions that you made in the last one. But I, I take and, yeah, and you play. wanted to see how it was going to end turn out did yeah. you play original ufo or xcom terror from the deep no if you had xcom 2 was been... the first xcom i've ever played oh see so, yeah see so if you would have played those games you would or, or, your brain would tell you you have to play xcom and xcom 2 because the, that's the nostalgia element that would be like i was brought up on this game so for me mm-hmm. free that's space what, 2 and what, wing commander wing commander is for me yeah yeah so but there's very few single player games i want to play other than free space uh, to Wing Commander, uh, Half Life Two, Half Life. There's very few. I mean, and... I am hyped as shit for Stellaris, and so, hyped uh, as shit for uh, as well. No Man's Sky. They're, so, they can be multiplayer, but I'm probably going to play it pretty single player. You know, both so, of them. I'm they seem... grabbing a copy of Stellaris as well because I, I love the look of it. You've got me yeah. into that. Just I, the, um... it looks cool. No Man's Sky for both of you. Okay, so I have a. Sl- I know we're probably all going to play it. Because mm-hmm. people oh, yeah. want us to play. Um, but I have an issue with it that I'm worried there's not going to be that much to it. I'm worried it's going to have the either. score thing. Stop, stop both of yourselves right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I know this is a Star Citizen channel. Um, yeah. I was talking to Clifford about it, and Clifford is is like giddy like a little schoolboy ab- about schoolgirl or whatever about mm-hmm. this game like crazy. And what he, what he told me to do was go on YouTube... Type in No Man's Sky, find a playlist, and just watch through it. They're like short videos. Yeah, yeah. Happy, and yeah, yeah. Current, that. currently, right now on I on IGN, they're doing a whole it's month deep. of of yeah. uh, No Man's Sky videos. It is way more in depth than we all think it is. If you watch no, those no, so videos, I, I understand that. I, I just and I, I think I like get too repetitive mechanics. still too quickly. It's, Th- that's, it's this is... not at all what you think it is. Okay. Trust me. Okay. Maybe, maybe it maybe. won't be that. My I hope I'm proved wrong, wrong but that's that's how I'm going into it. And there, I've seen probably six or six to eight hours of video, so there's no no, no nothing you can say that's going to convince me otherwise until I get my hands on the game. In the last in the last week, uh, I probably watched about two or three hours in the last week of all the IGN oh, I... firsts or whatever they're the game whatever I'm... whoever has the first ones. You say first. I'm going to watch these videos over the next week to work. And I w- we will continue this conversation next week mm-hmm. after yeah. I've had a little bit more look into it because like, I'm interested. Just look at the last week's videos. I mean, like somebody's Zorky saying the long. scale of No Man's Sky will make your jaw drop. So would Elite. Elite's boring as shit. So it. I mean, it really <laughs> depends on what you're into too, right? So, I mean, it's it's true though. So was so was Spore. Uh, I, I, and so I'm yeah, afraid that, that, was, that No Man's like, Sky yeah, is going to be the worried. next Spore. It's what it I, looks that, like, exactly it, what it feels worry. like. That's exactly my It's worry. what my gut is telling me, and I hope I'm wrong, but that's I'm gonna still play it. I'm still gonna get it. But I have a feeling I'm gonna get bored of it after a week. But hopefully we won't. But I, I will have a look at those videos. Yeah. That was my worry. I was like, I've only seen a little bit of it, and I'm worried that it's gonna be the next spawn. And it's literally my worry. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna fall down somewhere that I'm just gonna be like, oh, I'm bored of this now immediately. Mm-hmm. Um so I'll look at those videos and I'm, yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Um, I think I think both of you guys are wrong. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm we happy to be. I'm happy. I'm, to be, I'm um, happy to be wrong edge. as well. Uh, our next yeah. question is from OGC Dark Two, and this is uh, for you guys because I don't know. Uh, the small mining ship is a Wave Five ship. Can you explain the different waves? What was Wave One, Two, Three, and Four? Hold on. I think we just went down. Oh. We shouldn't. No. 
No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, it went down for me, and it went down for some people in the chat. It's like broken for half of them, but we'll 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 go on, and and it'll be on the YouTube. It just popped back up for me, so. Yep. Refresh, mother truckers. Just tell them to refresh, because yeah. it's. Yep. I'm fine. I haven't dropped a single frame since we've started. Yeah, it was a Twitch thingy, I think. Thanks, Twitch. Um, so I think the waves were just the the, the waves of different ships groups of ships, the, right? Yeah, they, they got they funded at different levels. And then they went, there's more and more and more ships, and then they had voting. It's we still have wave one yeah. ships that aren't in yet, right? Completely? Uh, the Idris? I mean, Starfarer, the Idris. The, uh, this, oh, okay. the Starfarer isn't flyable. The, the Cutlass is getting a full rework, right? Then, um, yeah, and we have some of the, I think the wave four, it was like things like the, uh, the Saber. Right? Wave three or four. I think Saber's the, four, I think. Yeah, the Saber's been the newest concept straight to flight. Like, it, I think it was the yeah. fastest. And the Reliant will be one of them as well. It, it was basically just the levels of importance that the concepts were, were given in. So, mm -hmm. wave one ships were the ones they first thought of, then wave two, then they added the th three, and then the four, and then the what five. What ship souls are they, specifically, I don't think any of us really know. Hundred percent. We'd have to do research. We'd have, we'd have, we'd to, have to get research. a. We'd have to do a full list of that, and I'm, I'd be surprised if there isn't. Excuse me, a list already, but uh, it's not one that we are privy to momentarily. But no, I can't explain the different waves. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, our next question, and we have one more after this one. Uh, and this is from UFG Man. He asks, The Reliance price was increased to was $65 yesterday, and we know all ships are going to increase in price as time goes on. Uh, and we know it's going to be hangar ready in 2.4. Do you think that's a sign that 2.4 will be released to PTU this week? Um, I would be surprised if PTU does not come to uh, the Subaru test group. Uh, this week or the the evil Cotty test group. Do you say week? Subaru test group? The Subaru test group. Yeah. Oh, super test group. Yeah. yeah. It's Subaru. Subaru <laughs> test Illuminati. Group. Yeah. Um, Illuminati. And w if it it could come in as early as today or tomorrow, and if that's the case, then we could see it on the PTU by Friday. Um, but I I mean that could just be them getting things ready ahead of time, as well for early next week. Yeah, I mean, there was something on RTV that said they had, like, 1,500 bugs in 2.4, like, the build that they have. So, mm -hmm. it might be in this week. It might be in next week. Um, but we will have a patch by the end of the month, most likely. Mm -hmm. Unless, like, some extreme circumstance happen, yeah. we'll have it by uh, the end I'd, of the month. I'd expect we'd have the, the, the PTA within the next 10 days, probably, so. Yep. I also heard that the, I should have put this in the doc as well, the Gemini went up by 100 to well. 340, right? Yep. Yep. Word oh, on shit. the street, that's how much it's going to sell for. Yep. And our last question from Shaq G. He asks, this, the gameplay that I'm most concerned about is science, other than simply exploring. So the Endeavor is a science platform. How do you think CIG will make the mechanics for this appealing for science, aside from exploration? Well, I mean, you, it depends on how you look at science, right? So we know that the farming is going to be like a type of science. So it could be... And re research was like a thing. Yeah, research. So farming, the farming aspect could be just resource management and making sure that everything's okay and checking up on them and, and adjusting levels of whatever carbon dioxide and oxygen and all this other stuff and, and chemicals in, there, in the soil. Um, so that could be a gameplay mechanic on how they do that. Saying, I don't know if they're gonna do it that way or not, I'm just spitballing I, I think, here. I think they are, I think that, I think that's basically, you can have a control console in the middle, you can adjust all the different levels. And you adjust the, it, and you the, come back, and stuff. you check it later, and you adjust and it, make you, sure, yeah, see how everything's going. You park going. by a red sun, a rare sun, where mm -hmm. it gives you the best light. Whatever one gives you the best, whatever it is that you're looking for from that sun. Mm -hmm. Um... For anything else, so when you're looking at um, the drug labs or uh, looking for how to, how to figure out how to um, 
do the overclocking is another science thing. Oh um, yeah, overclocking that's important. Right, so the the overclocking stuff that can be sort of a lot of trial and error and and sort of pushing things to right before they break. I think is is what the big thing is for that. So pushing it and and sort of seeing how far you can get something before it breaks and if it breaks then you have to get a new one and try that again or you can be safe and be like okay it goes to here so i'm going to bring it down a little bit and then we're good um i i think there's a lot of different things that they can do for those things uh it really depends on what they mean by science out of the those out of the th and then there's medical science i guess would be under science um, and then there's engineering science. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, for what we know that's yeah, in the game. We don't know that, but that's my point, is I don't, we don't know what, quote-unquote, science mechanics will be in the game. Apart from farming, we know that we're going to be able to do overclocking. We know that we're going to be able to make illegal drugs. And we know that there's um, medical stuff. Is there anything else beside that? Maybe. I My, I, my suggestion to, I, I forgot who asked the question, but... Um, to go to the like, r go onto the RSI website, uh, search for Endeavor and look at the posts that came in because yeah. they they do give some details. I think they as explain to some some of that stuff. Some some more sciencey stuff like um researching uh things that happen in the universe. So like sort of with exploring uh things like comets and and stuff like that mm -hmm. came came in as well. And then you you kind of uh, research that data, and there was there was one of those. Yeah, so I, th I, I think that the way that the researching will work is that anything that you like, you can put like a science lab uh, connected to the research number cruncher, or you can put the telescope to the research number cruncher, and you'll literally produce stuff that you can sell from the research lab. It will literally be data to sell to planets. I, I think. Yeah, it, that's what I think it will be. It's, mm -hmm. It was very early, and and I don't know how much. I can, it, it was that was quite a, a while ago, and and there's been a lot of information that's come since then. So I I don't know if the three of us uh, are a hundred percent prepared to answer the question at at the moment. But I would definitely take a look at that, and you might find what I you're would, looking for. I'd like to also say that every question we've ever answered, we're not a hundred percent prepared mm -hmm. to answer. <laughs> yeah, and, and we're also not. You know, we're not the game devs. We're fans of the game. This is a fan podcast, and. And we we do speculate quite a bit, so I think I think you can definitely get what you're looking for there. Um, and and if I can find it, I'll I'll look for it now for you. If I can find it, I'll put the link in the in the Twitch chat. Okay. Oh, that was something I wanted to mention just before we move on to what's what's happening with all this next week. Um, uh, shameless plug. Uh, I'm involved with uh, BritishCon, which is the fan yearly. BritishCon. That is. BritishCon. Pretty it's awesome. the the yearly fan based um, Star Citizen convention that we're mm -hmm. having because we di we didn't have a Citizen Con in the, the, the UK this year, so we're going to be planning to do it yearly. Um, I will. Uh, I think it's going to be on a date which I've now forgotten. I think it's the twenty third of July. Um, da -ba 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 -ba. I got you. Link in the chat now. By the way, read that. Yeah, 20, Saturday, 23rd of July. Tickets now available. I will link it in the chat for anyone that is interested in coming. Um, there is like, I think, 300 places left. Um, we've only just started selling them. And uh, we are going to have, hopefully, uh, lots of different CIG um, uh, people there to do panels and stuff with as well. It's going to be in Manchester and it's right by their offices, by the airport, just where Citizen Con was last time, pretty much. Cool. But, uh, yeah. Shameless plugs, guys. Shameless plugs. Thumbs up. Um, so, what are you up to next week? We'll start with uh, Board. Um, so, lots more Vive stuff. Mm -hmm. um, vibe, vibe, vibe. So, I've got to play, I don't have to play, but I'm going to be playing uh, Elite Dangerous, uh, especially the arena on the Vive, because it works CQC perfectly is actually it. really fun. I know, and it's really good on the Vive. So I'm going nice. to be getting some videos up of that. Um, I'll be possibly doing an E-Valkyrie on it, if it, I can get it working, as long as it's not breaking any um, anyone's balls. Um, I don't want to piss anyone off. <laughs> uh, so yeah, lots of random other Vive stuff. I'll get some, some Let's Plays up as well. Um, Star Citizen-wise, so there's lots of stuff I've wanted to do for a while. Um, uh, but 
I think I'm going to do a little bit of gameplay over the next week or two. Um, there's going to be a few theory craft based things. I might do some meta. It's just the issue I have with meta. I might. I'm, I'm going to wait until 2.4 before I do proper meta. The servers uh, are too weird for meta right now. Yeah. And, and then I'll then I'm going to start doing the the ship buyers guides and stuff again. So there's going to be a lot more juicy knowledge content coming in a couple in a, a couple of weeks time. But at the moment, I'm going to be doing some gameplay stuff. I'm going to fill the holes in other bits and bobs of my Star Citizen content that I might not have um, filled yet. Um, so any ideas for anything that people want me to do Star Citizen wise, please, please share them. Just drop me a message. That'll be appreciated. And uh, other than that, I'm going to be vibing. Vibing! Let's, let's try and get a day together to bring the uh, old crew back, you, me, and Kazu. And do yeah, a yeah, little, yeah. little roleplay action or something. And try and grab anyone else that's available as well, like Saurus and... and, and I'm not going to be around. Oh, you're not? Of course you're not. No. Sorry, Saurus. No. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely up for that. To work. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah. And Sounds good. I mean, uh, yeah, let's get the band back together. And then, um, you, for me, yeah. I'm... What day is today? Today's I'm so out of it right now. So this week's going to be a little, a little interesting, so I might as well drop the news to people now. So last night I worked from... 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. Tomorrow I work from noon to 10 p.m. Then Friday I work 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. And Saturday I work 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. So my schedule's a little bit all over the place. Um, so I don't know how much I'm going to be around. And I just kind of want to apologize to everybody for the last maybe three weeks. Uh, I was sick. And now work is kind of getting in the way. So I'm not going to be as... Uh, available as I sh as I'd like to be. Um, so Friday stream and Saturday stream, I don't think that it's even possible for them to happen. Um, so I'm going to be uh, kind of not around, which is a bummer. But um, uh, definitely Monday, some some elite again. I'm, I'm trying to get involved in all the thing, all things elite and and uh, see as much of it as I can, because I think it's important to know the differences between the two mm -hmm. games, be able to compare them and understand elite before saying that I don't like it because because as of right now I, I do still feel a little bit bored um, and I do feel that it's a little bit slow but I kind of actually enjoy the the breaks in between gameplay where I'm I can kind of look at the chat and have a conversation with them I so like it, the I think it streams I, well I've really honest. enjoyed the arena battles and I quite like watching you play arena when you were yeah. playing it to keep it yeah it was really fun I, I I might go back into that a little bit because I actually did pretty good at it for some reason yeah. I was like decent um, which was weird. Everybody was like, what is going on? Torque's good at this game. <laughs> um, but, uh, so that's on Monday. Some, some sort of giveaway on Sunday. We have to do a big giveaway on Sunday since we, we missed, um, uh, we're going to be missing Friday and Saturday. So let's mm -hmm. leave it, let's leave it at that for now. I'm kind of all over the place and I don't really have plans because everything is everywhere in my life so I, I think I, I've mentioned a lot of what's been going on in my life on my my stream and I'll leave it there but things are kind of hectic at the moment and you Soros what are you getting up to hmm? staying away from my computer <laughs> um, that's <laughs> about it yeah, until it's, Monday it's at the very at right the now. least right now it depends if I still feel the same way uh, on Monday then I'll probably put out something and say I need longer than this um, I'm yeah. just, I, I don't know what it is, I'm just not enjoying streaming at the moment, and it bums me out, and it, that just makes it worse, and I, I feel like it's a spiral, so, um, yeah. Mate, Vacation I, I, time, I, man, I, we all need it. I've literally been there recently, so, I mean, yeah. <laughs> got all the sympathy in the world for you, mate, and you take the time you need. So, yeah. that's sort of, I apologize to everybody, I'm sorry I've been just shitty at casting lately I've, i'm sorry i'm not gonna be on uh for the next week or or whatever but um i just i need it for my own sanity um i'm not i i can't i can't let myself do this to myself anymore um without taking a break so that's what i'm gonna be doing um nothing overly exciting gonna probably I'm going to probably stream via proxy. So uh, tomorrow, when I'm at the Vive place, I'm, we're probably going to be streaming there and and doing that because they do like this stream on Thursdays, um, which will be fine. It'll be new and fresh for me. Um, and then I know I'm going to go to Camcorder Kids place, and he's doing a sculpture of my, like, I don't. Know, I guess it's your bust, right? So your chest up, 
Um, so he does like uh, he's a partner streamer That's that cool does uh, sculptures and stuff. And then Friday, I'm probably gonna get shit face drunk. And Saturday and Sunday, I'm gonna go outside. I think outside is good, man. Yeah, but don't get burned like I did. Uh, it's like I think it's, it's like I got punished for never going outside, and there and the sun was like. Mm -hmm. I, You're too I white. just, I've just remembered two of the things that I have to be doing um, between now and and Friday. The monthly report I need to get a video up on that because I haven't yet because I'm yep. an idiot. And I'll yeah, get that yeah. up on the I'll get that up on the redacted website as well. I'll get that done. Try and get that done tomorrow on my day off. Uh, and then on Friday, obviously, we've got the prospector sale for me. So I have to get I have to get a video up on that when I mate. There you go. And, yeah. and that reminded me about something too. Was yeah, mate. um, I'll. I, I expect some some more cool information on the redacted website and stuff like that. I think we're gonna start getting that ball rolling again. I think we kind of fell off the rails a little bit. Uh, I got sick, all that stuff. Uh, and please, 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 one more gray ed shirt from Europe. Let's do it, guys. One more from America. <laughs> I think. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, Just two shirts. Right there. And we hit the goal. We got one day left. One day left, guys. Help me out. I need your help. Uh, basically, the reason that I need your help, I'll kind of go into it, is uh, it's my understanding that uh, if you have three successful campaigns, which I, I would assume reaching your goal is a successful campaign. So I lowered the goal in Europe to 10 and the goal in America to 10 because uh, they were both at 20 for some reason, and that's not what I wanted, um, will make me have a successful campaign. And that means that I can just open a store permanently, and then I don't have to do these we meet a goal thing. If you feel like buying a shirt, you just buy a shirt. I will and then if we do talk to you cool about unique, this after we'll stream. It. Okay, cool. So, all right. But, yeah, pick those up, guys. It'll help me Go out. Go pick one Appreciate up. It. Just search Ahi Ahi Teespring. It'll come up. Yeah, Ahi click on the Ahi. link down below on uh, works page. Or exclamation point shirt in chat. Yep. Bam. Bam. There you go. All right, guys. Uh, that's it for this one. And this one, Torque, look what time it is. I can't. I know we hit six o'clock. It's ridiculous yeah. every time. Every no matter time. how little we have. Every to time, talk about. Torque was like, "If I'm gonna bet on any of them, I'll bet on this one." It's a good thing he's not a betting man anymore. I think I broke him of his habit. It's five fifty-seven though. You gotta, you gotta hold it for two more minutes. We could have. I'm not gonna. Um, I will see you guys next week on Wednesday. Thank you to everybody who came out. I will not be streaming after this. Um, yeah. Right. So we will see you guys next Wednesday. Thanks, right. guys, be again, good, everybody. See you Thanks next time, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.